If you're currently a high school student looking for the perfect university to study aviation at, then I want you to be aware of this one downfall to collegiate flight programs that can possibly set you back for years in your career. That video is coming up right now. Hello everybody and welcome back to today's video where we are talking on the hot topic of aviation universities. Obviously with this massive pilot shortage, aviation universities are pushing their programs more than ever and it's a great route to become a professional pilot. But these institutions do have one downfall and that is what we are talking about today. Now, I want you to make your own decision and do that based off of your own research. This is just my opinion on a con that many of these universities possess, but if you disagree or you want to know more, then I highly recommend that you go online and do your own research. It really only takes a half an hour or so to find out everything you wanna know about a specific school. So what is this downfall, what is the con? The biggest downfall, in my opinion, to these college flight programs is that you are unable to start flying for a year or sometimes even two years. Now, this doesn't happen in every school. For example, the top three schools of my choice that I'll hopefully be attending for college in the near future do not have this con because when I was doing my college search, I wanted to make sure that the week I showed up to school, I was in an airplane and that there were no delays in getting my training started. I really wanted to prioritize this because I wanna get going right away and get in and out as quick as possible. The quicker you could get that CFI, the quicker you could build that time and the quicker you can get into a jet cockpit. I'm not gonna say any specific school names, but there are some universities where if you enroll there as a flight student, you have to wait your entire freshman year and not fly until the start or even end of your sophomore year. This is caused by the pilot shortage. It's caused by them not having enough of flight instructors, not enough staff to support all of the students that are enrolling in their flight department. And as a result of all of that, you have students who want to go to school to fly and aren't able to fly. Another thing that is aligned with this to watch out for is that some schools will require two separate applications. You'll need to get accepted into the university for your academics. Then after you get accepted, you'll need to do a second application to get accepted into their flight program. This is another thing to consider because it can make or break your entire college career if you decide on a school, get into it, but then realize that you can't get into the flight program and it's already too late to look at another option. When I officially decide on what school I'm going to, I'm gonna make a total, complete, in-depth video of everything that I considered while choosing the school, the entire process of it, and what I was looking for to set myself up for a successful future. Because let's face it, going to college to become a pilot, the entire reason for that is to set yourself up for the brightest future in the aviation industry. So you're going to want all of the attributes that you're looking for within that school. And thanks to our country being so filled with flight training, there are so many options. So this is my little tidbit for today. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you found this helpful. And I hope that if you didn't think about this, then you can while you're looking for more schools. So until next week, I want you to stay current, stay proficient, keep the blue side up, keep flying safe, everybody. We'll see you in the next video.